It wasn't until a couple of years ago I realised I, I had bad vision in my left eye and can't see in my left eye. Oh, I can, but it, everything's kind of blurry. I told our All Black doc that it was slowly getting worse and then now we're doing something about it. Doc notified me that World Rugby had some goggles that were approved. We reached out and, yeah, um, got them right here. I think it was more um, looking like a, <laughs> like um, just being different with the boys and stuff, but no, nah, everyone's been supportive of it. And yeah, no, nah, they're all good. Yeah, Put them good. on your face rather yeah, yeah. than through your hair. Yeah. His actual vision, you know, the ability to see sort of fine things is unaffected and his visual field, which means the width of his vision is also un unaffected. So those are the things they looked at in the trial. And they also looked at whether it would hurt other people. If you bashed into another person, would it scratch them? But it appears to be safe. And it's great to see someone like Artie putting them on and, and sort of being proud of it. This week he's been training in them twice and it's probably been the most challenging conditions that you get. It's been uh, humidity up to sort of 90% and 28 degrees or so and hard all black training and he's done pretty well. Yeah, perfect. In terms of vision and like seeing, it's pretty sweet. It's just getting used to them. Uh, obviously if this light eye goes then I may be potentially blind and obviously I've got my little girl and hopefully future kids and in a bigger family so I want to <laughs> be able to see so um, yeah just thinking of the bigger picture and trying to protect it in my eyes. There are kids out there by me wearing these inspire them to get some and, and for them to try out the game of rugby then um, I guess it's a positive all round um, for our sport.